Hi guys, it's been a while since my last video, um, but I'm just going to do a video today on Flames of War British uh, Mortar Company, uh, Platoon, sorry, and um, retails around £10, I think I got these, 9 99 I got these for, and um, yeah, so talk about what you get in first, so you get a little group of command, See how the guy who's obviously the the boss man because he's pointing in classic wargaming style. The guy pointing forward is always the guy in charge. You have a guy with a Thompson machine gun and a, a radio pack holding up the phone about to give orders to the mortar company and then you have a guy standing there with a wee rifle. So that's your wee command group. You get four um, bases of mortars. You get a guy loading uh, the mortar, guy with the rest of the ammunition, guy doing some sort of hand signal, and a guy pointing in the direction. Um, each base comes with the same four models and this mortar really easy to put together I have to say uh, this comes in three pieces but that was fairly easy and um, there's a lot of um, sort of loose mortars and ammunition on the sprue as well which I haven't taken out yet because they're very small all I've used on here is because some of the bases for Flames of War you get nice little indents uh, for instance in the open firebox but some of the blister packs, like this one, which comes with the bases, um, the models are on a little white metal base, uh, and they just stick to this. So just to make the more flush, I've got some of this ready mixed filler. This is Mangas. Uh, it's weatherproof. It's very durable. Uh, it says it dries fast, but I left it 24 hours just to really cure and set hard. And this entire tub, which I've done a fair bit with already, was 4 quid. And I've done, I've barely touched it basically. And I've managed to do the same thing, just stepping them in. So when I go to base them, it won't look like um, they're sort of standing on on bases on the base it'll be more realistic and you also get this wee um, base a guy with a bazooka and a guy with some more ammunition and as you can see you can't really tell because of the, the, the polyfiller basically the mixer ready for the filler that they're not part of the base and all I've done here is use some of the Citadel um, Sterling Mud textured paint over it, dry brush, an ink wash and then static grass so and then finally you get your spotter with his binoculars and his buddy there with his gun same sort of deal, static grass, textured paint over the polyfiller. So I'm fairly happy with those. Um, this is my first time painting 15mm miniatures and I have to say it's a bit of a challenge in itself just to get the the detail and the highlights and stuff. Um, I struggle a wee bit with it and then I got some good advice from a friend and he just says over highlight everything and then give it a good wash that's what I've done here and the detail seems to come out quite nicely um, even if you think you're doing a bit more of an extreme highlight I um, don't know if you can see here you've got tiny, I've painted some tiny little Union Jacks on the uh, sleeves little British symbols for the British trips. Um, 
The same polyfiller technique I've also used, I've been getting into Hail Caesar and I've been using it on these. These are from Italieri, they're Celts and they're in 170 second scale for those old school people out there or 20 mil. So 20 mil, 15 mil, bit of a difference. Um, not really painted 20 mil before um, much but I've got some Romans and some Celts and I've based them up again with a poly filler because these come in on again little plugs that just stand on top of the uh, the base this is just plastic card because you don't get bases with these Hail Caesar is great because you get to use whatever scale you want really and I've just gone for um, 20 uh, mil for each model, so 40 mil by 40 mil bases, and uh, three or four guys on each base. And I've gone for this scale because of the price point. Um, I do a lot of other different games. I haven't got a lot of spare cash, so 40 Celts. Um, I got 12 bases plus command base out of, um, and that was um, six pounds. So it's nice, um, nice for the money and the level of detail on them is actually fantastic for their scale. I've seen some worse stuff, um, I wasn't that impressed with the FX quality of their, their vehicles, fantastic but the, the, the men not so great but these are Italieri and there's another company that I've seen quite good called Zavida. So if you're going to go for historical and you're going to go for 20 mil, that's what I'd go for. And um, same, exactly the same technique. I just used a little craft knife, a little sculpting tool, and some polyfiller, and just stepped in the um, the the bases basically. And as a wee experiment, I did. Um, Let's see if you can focus in here. A scenic base for my uh, Dwarves from the Hobbit. So you have Oin, um, Balin, sorry, Balin, Dwalin, Oin, and Gloin um, on this. And this would be perfect for um, War of the Ring from Games Workshop if anybody still plays War of the Ring um, but rather than buying the bases this is just cat food box two pieces of cardboard that I have um, glued together with a glue gun and then I just shaped it in with a poly filler, filler bit of cork some static grass and some flock and I think it looks pretty cool if you wanted to I don't know if it would work in uh, tournaments and stuff um, I was also thinking this would be a great way of doing some unit fillers for Warhammer Fantasy um, if you had different models from different companies that you wanted to put in um, I, I have a Dwarven Army and it happens to be the right, it's 10 centimeters, so you could do 5 Dwarves deep so that could be a perfect wee unit, unit filler for, for a horde of Dwarves if you want to have some sort of small special characters in the middle and uh, so yeah Lots of fun with polyfiller. And back to the Flames of War. I'm really happy with these guys. I think they're really good quality. The quality of the sculpt's very good. There was not much flashing and, and mold lines to get rid of. It's quite get rid of hard to get rid of mold lines on these uh, scale without damaging the detail. Um, but I'll do a wee post when they're all painted up. So thanks very much guys and uh, hope everyone's doing well, had a good holiday season and uh, speak to you again soon, take care, bye now. Hi guys, 